Lord Mayor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very sombre day. That is why we are gathered here at the city cemetery. It's 80 years since the devastating German air attack on Belfast, often known as the Easter Tuesday Raid. I have the privilege to be the chairman of the Northern Ireland War Memorial and uh, a lot of our work more and more, in fact, uh, centres around uh, that night and the uh, lesser raids before and after it. Um, so the um, story has more and more fascination. Um, in my opinion, there's more fascination now, really, because I think for decades after the war, uh, people wanted to forget it. Uh, it was such a horrifying event, and nothing could be more horrifying than um, the memorial beside me and the ground that I'm standing on now, which is a mass grave for those poor people who were unidentified or unclaimed. Um, it's often said that uh, a thousand deaths, as there were, uh, is a statistic, uh, but one death is a tragedy. And what we're trying to do is uh, record the individual stories. Most people, if not um, just about everyone uh, in Belfast at that time uh, uh, who had fa has had family there would have stories passed down to them. Uh, my mother uh, and her family were under the stairs uh, in Madison Avenue uh, off the Cave Hill Road because being under the stairs was recommended to be the only safe place um, if a house came down. Uh, what I didn't know because like so many people um, I should have asked far more uh, but I don't think Julie wanted to talk about it. But I didn't realise until quite recently that the raid went on for four hours. Four hours and any moment could have been your last, as it was for about a thousand people. And uh, that part of Belfast, round the, uh, the Cave Hill, Cliftonville Road uh, areas, was hit very badly. Uh, and even today there's questions, uh, did the Germans deliberately bomb the waterworks in order to disrupt the, uh, the firefighting? Or did they mistake the... Uh, the waterworks seen from the air for dockland areas and uh, there's no more fitting person therefore to hand over to than um, Alderman Frank McCoubrey, the Lord Mayor of Belfast. Thank you. Okay, thank you and good afternoon everybody. Thank you for coming to the City Cemetery today to remember those who have lost their lives in the Belfast Blitz 80 years ago and are led to rest here in cemeteries across the city. I especially commend the Northern Ireland War Memorial for ensuring that this important date is observed, especially given the restrictions the pandemic has forced upon us. The four devastating air raids on Belfast came as a result of the city's crucial role in the war effort. And while we can rightfully be proud of that effort, these raids brought a heavy toll and they have lived in our collective memory. Here at the City Cemetery and across the road at Milltown, we have mass graves of some of the nearly 1,000 people who died in the raids in the city, particularly the Easter Tuesday and fire raids. The thought that unidentified individuals and families are laid to rest here is a stark reminder of the cruel realities of war. So in marking their passing here today, we remember the sorrow across the city at Easter 1941 and the outpouring of grief for those who lost their lives so tragically. Thank you.